The country battered again and again by more than two years of conflict now waits nervously. Unsure what to expect or when. Allahu Akbar. This video was put up online by the Free Syrian Army, the biggest rebel force. They want decisive intervention against President Assad and say they plan a fresh offensive to coincide with any U.S. strikes. The Syrian government responded to U.S. talk of strikes with its own TV images, military hardware and its armed forces primed to respond. And one of the country's ministers insisting the Syrian army was ready, its finger on the trigger to face any challenge. Reaction, too, from Iran, making clear the complexity of any intervention here. A senior Iranian official visited Damascus and said his country opposed what he called any aggression against Syria. The mainly Shiite nation is an ally of President Assad and has warned any Western attack would be a spark in a gunpowder store. The fear is that military strikes on Syria, however limited, could draw reaction against Israel, sucking it too into a wider conflict. In the Golan Heights, where Israeli forces have been on exercise, the commander said they must remain determined and professional. To Syria's north, in Turkey, a NATO ally, US cargo planes landed at a NATO airbase. And the Turkish Prime Minister made clear that his country was keen for decisive action by the US and other allies soon. It's time to stop the killings. It's time to take a step together with those who value human rights and who stand for the Declaration of International Human Rights. So what kind of military action is President Obama proposing? Well, there are currently at least five US destroyers in the eastern Mediterranean, equipped with Tomahawk cruise missiles. And the missiles can also be fired from submarines, though the US Navy doesn't reveal their location. And air bases in Turkey, Jordan and the United Arab Emirates could also be used in any strikes. Already nearly two million people have fled Syria, and there could be many more. And reports suggest the Syrian regime has had plenty of time to move its military assets. And the West will find it hard to ensure there are no civilians in areas where there could be military strikes. Caroline Moir, BBC News, 